Welcome, 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 everybody. Anthony here with the Bull Burritos bringing you a brand new video. And today, Burrito Gang, we're going to be talking about our week three bets in the Osiris League season five in Rise of Kingdoms. So stay tuned because we got a couple of spicy bets. And in fact, there are three that you definitely think I think you should get in on. So stay tuned to the end and find out exactly which ones. All righty, Brutal Gang, and we are back. And as you can see, we have our bets. We have them selected. For those of y'all who are just returning from from uh, from last week's video, you already know the format. One are our long shot bets. Two are our kind of our safer bets, uh, but with still some decent value. And then three coins on those matches are our 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 long shots that should pay off big. So as you can see, they're all on the screen. We are going to be betting on all four realms this weekend. Uh, there's a couple of teams that I think could be some sleepers. All we need is a couple to hit, boys. We got 4,300 orcs to play with. Um, and some of these are based solely on odds. Uh, the ones typically are based solely on the odds. Twos are kind of usually 50-50 type bets. Uh, the orcs are 50-50. And then three are like astronomical odds that should pay off pretty decent. So let's dive into it. And uh, we're going to we're gonna see. We're going to have a little fun. All right. We're going to start off with the horse realm. DKV1 versus TR. The odds were just too good. It's a 10 to 1 ratio. Uh, we're not going to go too deep into this one. I'm just going to put... 99 more so that we get an even hundred uh, because then if it hits it, it pays off pretty decent uh, I do think TR will handle business and take care of this one it, likewise for for uh, C9N versus JST I, I'm pretty confident JST is gonna knock out and it's sad to say but another one will probably bite the dust this season and C9N for the first time ever will not make top 16 but that does not mean that we're not going to slap another cool 99 Oryx on here because we got 99 Oryx. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I was going to do a song reference. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. Same thing for, for, for boobs. 108 versus OV. These two are already locked in for top 16. It's just a matter of who's going to win and who's going to lose. Um, I don't think they're going to take it easy on each other. Uh, if they aren't, I believe OV should kind of kind of blow them out of the water by 10, 15 K. Um, but I think I still think it will be pretty tight towards the beginning. And I think where it will separate is once we get to the arc rotations and runs and all that kind of stuff, I think is where it's going to differentiate. So, but when you're looking at 18 to one odds, you know what I mean? You can't really, uh, can't really argue with that. You know, even if you put a hundred in here, even if you put a hundred in here and you know what, we'll put. Let's put 199. I'll put two. We'll play a little bit. We'll play a little bit. Because if it hits, it's good. If it doesn't, we get 100 back. And, we're, you know, easy peasy. All right. All the other ones in Horus, I think, are pretty pretty clean cut. The odds aren't really that great. So I'm not really going to bet my Oryx on those. Uh, most of the teams that do have um, the odds on favorites, I do believe, are going to win and win big. So that's why I'm not betting on them. Uh, both 1021 crews, I think, are going to win both pretty big. Peak, I think, is going to win. 1v, I think, is going to blow them out of the water. The one that I might be a little tentative to uh, put a little bet on is the LIV versus 88LV. The only reason I didn't is because 88LV blew out 84DL. And 84DL, um, you know, they, they beat LIV by 7K. But the fact that they doubled them up uh, last week in 88LV versus 84 DL uh, kind of tells me a little bit of a story you know what I mean the odds are four to one uh, so it's not it's not tragic um, I just don't know if I'm gonna do it uh, we got song and BLN I think song is gonna just run run ham on this match 84 DL the odds are 50 50 Mimi so on and so forth the other one that I would probably if if you are waiting to the last minute, keep your eyes on the 44E versus 114K. Uh, I was going to put some, and you know what? A matter of fact, this one I do think is going to go higher. So I am going to put 200 on this one. I do think a lot of people are going to start betting on 114K. And I really do think that 144 or 44E are going to win that one. 
Um, BG, I think, will handle business. PX, and then 93 are almost 50-50, so we're not going to waste Oryx on those. Anubis, this is where we get our first three. We got ING versus 44KO. And 44KO, having lost to the, both of their matches previously, same thing for ING. But I think, for, in my opinion, it comes down to how badly each team lost. And... Um, I think it's going to be a fairly close match, um, but I do like my boys and girls from ING. I think they're very good, very organized, and the odds are in their favor uh, in this regard. So they are coming in, both teams like that. Um, you know what I mean? When you're when you're doing that, I think I'm going to end up putting... Let's, let's just do something. What do we do? 497. We're going to put an even 500 on this bad boy. All right. Leaves us 3,200 Oryx. DNS. This is an interesting one because I do like DNS as a team. I'm just, I, I'm not sold on them completely. Uh, we can see that H593 did beat DN1 by 13K last week. Uh, and then DNS lost by uh, 7K to DN1. So the tell would, the tell of the tape would tell you that 593 should win this match. But the odds are 10 to 1. You know what I mean? We're just going to put a little bit of extra love on this one. We do have it at one. So we are going to put it 100 on that one. Ash, same thing goes here. Uh, I think for the most part, I believe based on net points, it's going to be very hard for Ash to get in. Just solely based on net points. If they did bring it in, they would have to pull and beat 671, I believe, by like 10, between 10 to 15K. Uh, and I just don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, so that's that's just for them to pull it out. For them to win, we're looking at probably like seven and a half. Uh, actually, probably more, more, closer to like eight to one odds. So I'll put a little cha-ching, cha-ching behind that. You know what I mean? We're really, if, if you can see, we're kind of ramping up on these. Oh my God. <laughs> OCD, 49. All right, there you go, 150 to even it out. The other ones, I'm not, I, I like all the teams that are in the favorites for this one, so I'm not going to be putting bets on the other ones as well in this in this realm. Uh, and then we're moving into Baztet. We got a couple in Baztet. EE, this is one that I'm excited about. The other one I'm excited about as well. I definitely am very high on EE. I did like them last season. We casted them last season as well. So it, it's definitely a team that I kept my eyes out on. Both of these teams are coming um for their two and two so this is going to decide who takes the number one spot and um just based on competition i do like ee e. in this in this battle um so that's why i kind of went with them i do think these odds will kind of stretch a little bit uh they're closer to like three to one so they're not as amazing as they could be which is why i'm not going to go ham on them um for right now all right, so let's put 497 in here. We'll put another five in here. Uh, XB70, 2070 is on the rise, baby. XB70 coming in hot. Uh, two to one odds. That's kind of a 50-50 bet on that regard. Uh, both teams are uh, undefeated in the group, so this is another 2-2. Um, you know, and, and I got I to gotta pull a little bit for my, my 2070. I always did like him as a, as a Ark of Osiris, as an Osiris League team. Um, so I got to believe they're going to pull a little magic out of their bag. And they, they are both fairly good teams. Um, but on this one, I, I think I'm going to put, let me put 250. So I'm going to put 248. And there we go. And then we're moving in to Sobek where we got one. We got NCA. If y'all don't know, we had casted them on the official uh, Rise of Kingdoms channel last week. This one has huge potential huge potential look at the betting odds <laughs> look at the betting odds there's huge potential and i did like what i saw from nca last week both of these teams uh are are coming off two and two so they are playing for first position in their group as well uh, bbc and, and this is where the tricky part comes in with sobek you got to be a little careful on on your bets because a lot of teams just no show in sobek um, most of them will show, but there's a lot of no-shows where, where you'll see 5K points, and it's very misleading. Um, so this is kind of a, a coin flip. I know BBC is very good 
NCA, from what I saw, was very organized and very good as well. Um, so I think this is going to be really close. I would say that this will probably come down to the last arc. Um, but the odds are just too good. Look at the odds. <laughs> Got me all excited. You know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and put... The odds are just too good in this one. So let me do... We have three in that one. We're going to do... 997 give us an even thousand on that one we got 1200 more to go let's look at our bet history real quick see where we're at i think we're gonna put a little bit more on our threes so the ing and the ee -E. all right let me go back real quick sorry sleep bets so our ing one is gonna be in anubis that one's like a two to one that's not that fantastic um no we'll put a little bit more on this one let's put 200 more on that one i'm gonna put another let's put another hundred on this one Go back to Sobek. I'm gonna put another. What is in there? Uh, 224. So we have an even. All right. Okay. Do -do -do. Who else do I believe? I think these guys are really uh, honestly gonna win. And I really do think that that 114K is going to start blowing up. Um, all right. What do we got? 500 more. Ash. Uh, who knows? You never know. Let's put 100 more in that one. Ooh, those odds are pretty good. How did RRK do? Eh, they won one, lost one. Eh, just leave that one. Baztat. DQ Riot. Let's put 200 more in here. Thank EE. Yeah, EE. We'll put the last 200. Oh. There are bets, ladies and gentlemen, burrito gang. If you want to screenshot it, feel more than free. We had our three big boys from ING, NCA, and EE were our three uh, auric bets, the ones that we think are longer shots that have fantastic odds that we kind of went in on. I, good luck to everybody. Make sure if you aren't already, join the Discord, share your screenshots of what your bets are, because I'm beyond excited for this weekend. Stay tuned. We'll be letting you know which cast we're going to be doing on the official Rise of Kingdoms channel and which ones we're going to be doing on our channel. Uh, but until then, Burrito Gang, I am Anthony with the Bull Burritos, and we will see you all on the next video. Bull out. No sé que tú ves en mí, mi amor. Ya no dejes de mirarme. Que ya me gusta quien soy. Contigo me siento en control. Eres el balance.